My uh, project title is Scalable and Robust Integrated Quantum Communication System. So this is a table of contents. So actually, so my project uh, started last year. So uh, the contents is like uh, the introduction of the group and uh, distributed quantum computing and the relationship uh, of the quantum networks and the subfield of quantum network systems. Also, the, our milestone and our R and D zine, uh, and including so background results and achievement. So uh, and finally, uh, we, I will talk about a summary. So. Uh, my safe introduction, so actually my background is a classical internet technology and uh, my motivation is to realize a practical uh, quantum information processing system. And uh, I'm working on the quantum networking uh, for the distributed uh, quantum computers and the quantum internet as well. So, and I have three uh, core innovation activities. The first one is, of course, this moonshot project. Uh, so I'm working as a uh, Project manager, and the second is uh, uh, board uh, I serve as a board member of a wider project, uh, which is a consortium that started uh, the Japanese internet uh, in the 1920s. And uh, so I'm directing a quantum internet uh, consortium uh, named a Quantum Internet Task Force. So uh, this is a list of uh, our uh, PIs. So uh, sorry, uh, sorry, I cannot cannot uh, give comment to everyone, but so I'm very grateful uh, for uh, their hard work. So uh, this is uh, our contribution to the Moonshot project. So the, uh, we uh, make the quantum network system, and in particular, the demonstration of integrated quantum network uh, system and architecture uh, that combines the uh, quantum and classical, also the hardware and the software, so everything. So in that sense, uh, uh, I have the, uh, we have the uh, potential uh, collaboration uh, with uh, any project in uh, this uh, moonshot, and uh, we already uh, has begun uh, collaboration with uh, Professor Yamamoto, and uh, so I am to uh, uh, Professor Takashi, Takahashi as well. So uh, this is a uh, distributed quantum computers and a quantum network. So uh, there are uh, many uh, researches uh, in uh, <coughs> distributed computation and uh, networks. Now, so this is a uh, I. I talk only two about that. So, uh, those are the ion top chip and uh, there are uh, optical interconnects and uh, uh, two layers of interconnects. And they rea uh, realize that so the multi-level optical interconnects uh, for steam code and ion top affects the possible operation scheduling. So the quantum network uh, topology and the system affects the distributed uh, computation. And the second one is the uh, linear network. Yeah, so they realize that uh, so, uh, Linear network is best for the ripple adders. The ripple adders is a, a kind of the fine, uh, fundamental so other architecture, and they uh, investigated uh, those uh, five topologies, and, and they uh, realized the uh, linear network is the best for ripple adders. So, so any distributed computation is based on the quantum networking system. So we need networking system. And uh, I would like to uh, mention uh, more work, but I don't have enough time. So uh, just uh, a list, so including uh, my PhD thesis. And uh, uh, Professor Ken Brown, so he gave great talk yesterday, uh, also uh, has a proposal uh, about the distributed quantum computing architecture with the ion trap qubits. So now this is uh, so, uh, the subfield of the actually a classical computer network. So there are, uh, in the bottom, uh, classical physics, uh, electronics, optics, uh, everything. And uh, uh, on the uh, top of that, so there are so important things uh, like the software engineering, network engineering, uh, computer engineering, and everything. Uh, so, and beyond that, so there's a development uh, like use case. So in quantum cases, uh, the bottom changes, the, uh, it becomes quantum uh, physics. So the informatics also changes so to quantum informatics. And uh, everything changes, so we have to uh, apply to adapt to uh, those situation. And now, so we have the uh, five themes actually. Uh, the two uh, quantum, uh, <coughs> two for the quantum uh, physics, the uh, quantum optical technologies, and uh, quantum memory and uh, quantum living technologies, and also the uh, quantum architectures and protocols, uh, network architecture and protocols, and uh, distributed uh, quantum amplifications uh, as well. And putting all four together, uh, so we will uh, build a, an integrated prototype or a test bed environment. So uh, this is our milestone. So uh, the key issue to uh, 2030 is uh, to uh, realize the scalable and robust integrated uh, quantum communication system, uh, which can be uh, evolved to the larger uh, scale of the network. Uh, for the sake, so the, uh, we 
we will uh, demonstrate the complete system of the uh, system and protocol in a small scale configuration, and, and we will verify the scalability through simulation. Uh, so for the sake, uh, so uh, for now, so the current key issues, uh, so we divided these key issues uh, in 2030 to two. So actually, it's a, uh, to uh, handle the quantum memory uh, in the uh, prototype uh, is, uh, has hurdle. So uh, we start from uh, just with optical te uh, technologies uh, to realize the overall picture of the quantum networking system. So, so with that, so that now we demonstrate uh, of, uh, demonstrate a quantum link system between nodes and assuming we have a quantum memory with a zero memory time so, uh, for, the, for uh, implement the systems. So after that, so uh, we will uh, move to the so network. So this topology, so this star type topology requires an actual uh, routing. So uh, this is a uh, system requirement. So this is uh, really good for the uh, system demonstration. And uh, with one more uh, node, so we can uh, demonstrate a multiplexing too. So uh, multiplexing uh, not only so wave distribution uh, multiplexing, uh, but uh, also as a system. Uh, the multiplexing as a system to deal with uh, many uh, communication requests. And uh, meanwhile, so we, the quantum memory team uh, will work on the demonstration of uh, proof of concept of quantum uh, repeating with memory. So uh, such uh, memory is really good for networking because the memory uh, provides a buffering in functionality. So buffering uh, uh, provides a flexible and highly efficient use of the communication resource. So uh, we can refer to the classical communication systems. And also uh, it improves the quantum efficiency too because uh, the memory, so buffering uh, reduces the number of simultaneous probabilistic events required. So, um, so putting those two, two together, so in 2030, we will uh, realize a full system uh, of the quantum network system uh, uh, will, uh, with uh, quantum memory, and uh, it will lead to the uh, larger uh, quantum networks for the distributed quantum computation. Uh, so, okay, uh, why uh, we stick to uh, those two? So now, uh, I think, uh, we, can, uh, we think uh, there are two pillars so the real test bit on the simulation. So the real test bit, uh, uh, so we do actual implementation there, but it should be small scale. So uh, we, uh, there we confirm the practical working. And uh, by simulation, so we uh, confirm the working in the uh, large scale. So it's virtual, but uh, so, uh, we can confirm the uh, large scale wor uh, working in large scale uh, of our systems. So uh, those uh, two pillars together provide a confirmed system uh, for large scale quantum network. And we have the uh, test bed space in Shinkawasaki, uh, which is uh, close to uh, Tokyo. So now I talk about the, uh, each uh, research uh, R&D genes, and uh, I will start from the bottom, so that I will talk about the, uh, our gene two of uh, quantum optical technologies. So there are many uh, topics. So like the quantum repeating, uh, frequency conversions, and noise mitigation, uh, phase adjustment, so memory photo interfaces, and, and et cetera. So <laughs> our team, so the uh, first one, so optical network, uh, quantum network, uh, in, so we, uh, we will uh, connect the many uh, physical systems uh, via the optical uh, quantum networks. So uh, actually, uh, there is a, a natural uh, collaboration uh, with uh, Professor Yamato, Yamato's project. So actually, uh, Professor Ikuta has uh, many uh, so uh, background results with him. And uh, they have uh, results in the high uh, fidelity entanglement photon uh, distribution, the quantum frequency con uh, conversion, and also the fundamental and uh, functional quantum routing experiments. Uh, he, uh, so his, uh, Professor Ikuta's uh, responsibility is a high performance quantum optical communication technology. And uh, Professor Akamatsu and uh, uh, Dr. Niizeki, uh, they are w uh, working on the uh, so optical system, uh, which is uh, 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 friendly for the rare earth quantum memory. And uh, so, so uh, Dr. Niizeki uh, is uh, working on the optical interf uh, uh, interface between rare earth quantum memory and quantum optical communication. And Professor Akamatsu uh, is responsible for the phase locking and stabilizing technologies for quantum optical communication. So this is uh, good not only for the uh, real quantum memory, but so any so uh, any other quantum communications. So it requires a synchronization. And uh, so Professor Takeoka from Keio University is respons responsible for the loss tolerant uh, quantum optical communication technology. 
So now he, is a, he has a uh, results uh, in the theory on uh, capacity allocation and trade-off. So yeah, you may know uh, Takeoka, Takeoka bound. And he has uh, also a result in the fast Hongomand effect for uh, low bell pair uh, uh, generation. So here is a first year achievement in optical quantum technologies. So the title is Efficient Dicky State Distribution in a Network of Lossy Channels. So the, you know that W and Dicky states uh, can be convenient resources uh, for quantum networks. The photons uh, suffer from uh, losses, so uh, this is problematic. Uh, so actually, uh, not only in fibers, uh, but in nodes. So distributing uh, such uh, large uh, qubit states in different nodes may uh, fail uh, exponentially uh, to the number of nodes. So this work uh, proposes to use uh, one photon interference in, in repeater-like method uh, to distribute a um, uh, large qubit state. So squeeze vacuum is used uh, for the input state, so the uh, less effect, uh, less effect, <coughs> less effect uh, from uh, losses. So uh, in this uh, graph, uh, so we can see the uh, scaling uh, get better. So another result is this one. Yeah, so the entanglement uh, generation between defined uh, wavelengths. Uh, 1550 is, of course, a telecom wavelength. Uh, 606 is actually uh, the PRY, so, so rare as quantum memories wavelengths. And they achieved, um, <coughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> So they achieved a fidelity of the 94.4%, uh, so and this is sufficiently good. Okay, well, let's move to uh, ZIM-3, quantum memory and quantum repeating. So uh, Professor Horikiri uh, from uh, Yokohama National University uh, has a background results in uh, rare uh, quantum memory, so PRYSO. And uh, so their uh, lifetime for now is uh, uh, 50 microseconds, and uh, store and load quantum efficiency is uh, about 25%. Uh, so now they will improve this uh, in this moon, uh, moonshot project. And uh, so also the uh, Professor Hong uh, from uh, YNU, Yokohama National University, uh, works on the uh, light, uh, so, uh, light source stabilization technology for quantum memory for repeating, so the, uh, for synchronized uh, so, uh, distant <coughs> quantum memories. So uh, Professor uh, Tanji uh, from uh, UEC uh, works on the uh, highly reliable entanglement buffer uh, using uh, uh, cold atoms. And also, um, <coughs> the uh, topic four, uh, they are working on the quantum memory, uh, quantum mechanical memory. So Professor Yamazaki from ICU and uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Yamaguchi from NICT and Dr. Sasaki from uh, RIKEN. So the first year achievement uh, in this uh, quantum memory uh, subfield, uh, so the, they achieved a real, uh, reliable uh, quantum memory si uh, system. So actually, the, uh, the atomic frequency comb uh, in which uh, homogeneous uh, broadening of real as uh, doped material is controlled to uh, provide uh, a memory function. And uh, so and this AFC has the advantage of being a multi mode storage. And this, uh, uh, <coughs> this work uh, confirmed the stability and that photons can be uh, stored in the memory even after a 10 kilometer fiber drum, so uh, they are stabilized well. And a few more, uh, the, uh, the working time is over uh, 42 hours. So this is uh, really important for actual operation of quantum networking in the future. So uh, another achievement is a uh, frequency multiplex the Hong Kong interference after store and load in uh, rare earth quantum memory. The setting, uh, this setting has uh, two uh, PRYSO quantum memory uh, here and here. So and the optical store and load operation uh, with three modes uh, at each memory uh, ex uh, executed and the finally and the uh, not finally uh, so the, after that the photon echoes. So this is uh, loaded from the memory. I moved to the Fongo uh, Monday interference and they measured. So, interference uh, between corresponding modes is observed and confirmed. So, uh, we can uh, find the multiple, uh, multiple uh, purification. And the result, uh, the visibility is uh, reaches to the 42%. So, uh, so, I talked about the uh, quantum physics research. And actually, uh, so of course, uh, this is indispensable, yes. Uh, but uh, in a sense, uh, in the system uh, point of view, uh, this is uh, uh, technologies for connecting several, no uh, several nodes. So uh, 
now I will talk about the architecture and the principle. D1. So the, actually, the architecture is uh, really important uh, to connect uh, our nodes uh, more than uh, so ten, several tens to the millions of nodes. This is key technology. So, uh, so like the it's a computer engineering, software engineering, and network, and network engineering, and protocol stacks. So actually, so this field has taken uh, decades in, even in classical networks. So quantum network is more complex than classical, so uh, we have to see. So uh, this is our project design. Uh, so first, uh, so uh, I myself uh, works on the uh, quantum communication architecture and the protocols. So, <clears throat> and uh, second, uh, Professor uh, Ono uh, is responsible for the uh, network system hardware uh, for classical systems and protocols. So, okay. <clears throat> so now we need some, such uh, network systems uh, for the con uh, not only for controlling the quantum systems, but also for, uh, also for the uh, composing the actual quantum network system. And the third topic is uh, uh, Professor Sasaki from Todai uh, is responsible for intermodule interfaces. So, so in, uh, this inter, uh, interface is, uh, <coughs> guarantees that uh, every other so researchers can work on individually and uh, <coughs> so concentrate to uh, their topics. So uh, because uh, we have an interface, so uh, just we need to uh, keep the interface. So uh, topic five, the professor Nemoto from uh, OIST uh, works on the scalable quantum communication network edge architecture. So actually, uh, so uh, she works on the so the edge side system of the network system. Uh, so actually, it's a, uh, it should be the quantum computer itself, and uh, she will uh, try to uh, grow up the, such a small and weak quantum network uh, to the larger network. And finally, the uh, distributed quantum computer. And Professor uh, Rodwan Meter from Ken University is responsible for the software and uh, simulations uh, for scalability. <coughs> so we, we have background results in the quantum network architectures and also the quantum and classical uh, crossing protocols and the quantum error correction systems for, for practical systems. So another emerging movement, so uh, let me introduce. So this is uh, also our background results. Hmm. RFC. So RFC is actually a, a document admitted by IETF and IRTF. So IETF is a, a standardizing organization for the classical internet, such as TCP IP. And IRTF is a co-organization uh, for research. And it has a research group for quantum internet. And uh, this RFC uh, 9340 is the first RFC on quantum network. So uh, this is uh, not a standard track, but uh, still, so this is uh, great. And uh, uh, Professor Rod Van Meter and I co-authored with uh, uh, EU researchers and uh, US researchers. So it took four, hour, uh, four years. <laughs> and also uh, uh, such, uh, so, so many so uh, classical network specialists list uh, uh, participants uh, in the IATF and IRTF meeting, and uh, so uh, the, the, that meeting uh, 116 was held in Yokohama, so close to Tokyo uh, this much, and we gave a special talk about quantum networking, and uh, so more than 10 of the old participants of the uh, IATF IRTF meeting. Uh, Pa uh, participated our uh, talk, so that was great. And we also uh, did a quantum network laboratory uh, to uh, Professor Horiki's uh, laboratory, and they are so interested. So it's nice to involve more uh, network engineers to a uh, quantum field. Okay, uh, so this is our first year achievement of this field. Uh, so actually, so our network protocol design is available on GitHub. So this is open innovation, so if you want, uh, please contribute. And actually, uh, computer networking itself is a, comp a complex and uh, distributed computation, so even in classical networks. And the quantum computer networking is more complex uh, distributed computation uh, crossing uh, quantum and classical computation. So key, co uh, key components of the distributed computing is a, a complex state machine. So any idea to simplify the state machine? So 
Uh, yeah, rule set based networking uh, is the answer uh, for uh, this question in quantum networking. So rule, uh, rule set based protocol is actually, uh, so rule set is a program for each node in a path. So uh, rule set allows each node to do classical and quantum operations autonomously uh, in a distributed manner. So uh, first, uh, the protocol gathers, uh, collects the path information uh, such as uh, workload uh, from each link and node, and uh, uh, the center node, so in this case, uh, this end node E, uh, calculates the, uh, generates a rule set uh, with the optimization of the networking operation like the order of the entanglement swapping or purification and any, uh, anything. So the rule set uh, can reduce the naive state synchronization between nodes in distributed uh, networking operation, so in order uh, not to block distributed uh, quantum computation. So the overhead of the each individual uh, communication uh, uh, will hit the performance of the network. Of, <clears throat> so because uh, uh, the number of the communication requests uh, will increase and increase. So that such kind of the optimization is very important. Okay, so another achievement. So actually uh, last year, so uh, as a background res uh, result, so we, uh, our work, our simulator was awarded in I uh, IEEE Quantum Week. And this year, so uh, this, is, uh, this is new, so our work uh, is accepted to SIGCOM. Uh, SIGCOM is a top conference in, in computer uh, networks. The SIGCOM's workshop actually, uh, so to be held in September. So now please uh, wait and see now the conference. So rule set based or recursive quantum internet working. Okay, let's move to Gene 4 at distributed quantum applications. Uh, here, so Professor Soeda uh, is working on the quantum, prop, uh, the quantum properties and uh, its application in distributed uh, processing environment. So uh, he sticks to the quantum properties uh, of the uh, distributed computing environments, uh, like the verification of hardware for application. And uh, Professor Sato from Keio University, uh, his topic is uh, distributed uh, processing uh, protocol and uh, use cases. So actually, uh, he's engineering uh, to implement uh, quantum programs uh, on the distributed environment. So uh, he reduces the requirement for, for the hardware uh, in the point of view of the implementing applications. So his background is uh, applic uh, quantum application and programming, also uh, quantum network coding. The professor Matsuzaki from Chiyo University, uh, his topic is a uh, uh, theoretical proposal for uh, quantum modifications using distributed entang uh, entang uh, environment. So now uh, he is working on more uh, direct use of the quantum properties of the distributed uh, computing environment, uh, like the uh, computing after sensing, uh, so the computing uh, with the sensed data and uh, uh, blind accuracy applications. So finally, uh, so now we, I talked about the four genes and uh, putting those four together uh, to the prototype uh, development in the test bed. So uh, here, so uh, those uh, blue squares, blue uh, squares are the uh, quantum hardware and the quantum control equipments. So we call uh, them hardware. And the red rectangles are network system software and the network system hardware. So we call net systems. So now uh, the mm, specialists are, of course, so different uh, persons so they, because they are different uh, fields, so we have to collaborate uh, deeply. And uh, so any researchers, any PIs uh, 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 co uh, collaborate here uh, for the re uh, at, uh, for to achieve the, uh, this uh, Gene 5 uh, developing uh, prototype. And um, so on behalf of them, so the, I am the uh, PI uh, for the first one, the integrated demonstration of quantum communication network uh, using the optical technologies. And also uh, Professor Osada from Tokyo University, so, uh, so uh, he also uh, belongs to the Takahashi Ion Trap project. So he works on the Ion Trap quantum nodes for the demonstration of quantum network systems. So uh, we will uh, connect and their ion traps uh, quantum computers with our networking systems. And uh, for the uh, topic one, so, uh, with the optical systems, so I said, so we uh, substitute actual uh, quantum uh, computing node with uh, uh, optical technologies uh, for now. So uh, we made uh, entangled photon sources uh, regarded as uh, memory with zero memory time. 
uh, the first one. So we will clone this uh, to uh, four three nodes, four three end nodes, and we will uh, make the switching nodes uh, as well, and uh, we will uh, demonstrate the full system of the quantum uh, communication network uh, with the large uh, upper ones uh, networking systems implementation. So a summary, so uh, we are what, uh, we are working on uh, realizing the scalable and robust quantum network. So the uh, key issue to 2030 is uh, that's, uh, that title, a scalable and robust integrated quantum commission system. And for the sake, so we divide the uh, problem and issues uh, into two uh, things. And uh, so uh, we work on uh, everything uh, with uh, cooperation. Uh, those uh, will evolve to the large-scale quantum networks for large-scale distributed quantum computation. Thank you.